The head of the International Cricket Council's Anti-Corruption Unit says there is no evidence that the third Ashes Test match between Australia and England has been corrupted, nor is there any indication that players have had contact with alleged fixes. There was shock in Australian cricket at a report from UK newspaper The Sun of an alleged spot-fixing attempt on the Perth Test, which starts on Thursday. The ICC has started an investigation after receiving a dossier from the paper but Alex Marshall, its anti-corruption chief, played down claims that the third test had been affected by fixes. We have now received all materials relating to the Sun investigation, Marshall said. We take the allegations extremely seriously and they will be investigated by the ICC anti-corruption unit working with anti-corruption colleagues from member countries. From my initial assessment of the material, there is no evidence, either from the Sun or via our own intelligence, to suggest the current test match has been corrupted. At this stage of the investigation, there is no indication that any players in this test have been in contact with the alleged fixes. The allegations are wide-ranging and relate to various forms cricket in several countries, including T2O tournaments. We will look closely at all the information as part of our investigation. Cricket Australia Chief Executive James Sutherland is due to speak to reporters about the explosive allegations in Perth on Thursday morning. The Sun published purported evidence of two bookmakers offering to sell details of rigged periods of play for betting purposes. The report also alleges a former Australian player and an Australian cricket administrator, both not named for legal reasons were involved in a plot to fix Big Bash League matches. A Cricket Australia spokesman said on Thursday, the allegations raised by media outlets are of serious concern. Cricket Australia takes a zero-tolerance approach against anybody trying to bring the game into disrepute. Cricket Australia will cooperate fully with any ICC anti-corruption unit investigation. A spokesperson for the England and Wales Cricket Board said ECB work closely with the ICC and their anti-corruption unit to protect the integrity of the international game. We are aware of these allegations and there is no suggestion that any of the England team is involved in any way. Despite the allegations, Fairfax Media confirmed that the start of play on Thursday would not be affected. The Sun said the bookers had asked for up to £140,000 at $245,000, to fix parts of the game such as the number of runs scored in an over or session. The bookers reportedly told them the names of players that worked for them as their puppets. The Sun report said no current England players were named as involved in the plot. The report names two Indian fixers, Sobas Joba, an Indian state cricketer, and Priyak Saxena, a bookmaker and businessman. They claim to be working with a fixer in Australian cricket known as the Silent Man, whom the report said works with former and current internationals including a World Cup winning all-rounder. Before match